Hey guys, welcome back to yet another amazing video and today Hone's new update has dropped and it has come with a lot of settings. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the new settings and is Hone really worth it to purchase? Make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you everything Hone has to offer. So make sure to watch it till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, first things first, if you haven't downloaded Hone yet, come to their website from the link in the description below and simply click on download Hone to download it for absolutely free. Once you've installed and open it up, you guys will see a Hone homepage like this where it offers you optimizations, boost ups which are expired and game settings that are currently active. All you have to do is simply click on the first button which says create a backup and then click on create a new backup, name it Hone uh backup just so you can remember it and click on the create new backup it is really essential to do it before you change any of these settings just in case you want to revert them back again once that's done simply click on finish backup right over here and you should be able to see that another recent backups over here now let's move to the optimizations tab to begin all of the basic optimizations now for the best basic settings to apply on your pc what you have to do is simply disable focus assist over here Disable sticky keys on your PC, you don't use that. Then you're gonna have to disable OneDrive because most of you guys don't use OneDrive on your PC so if you don't use that simply turn it off and it will help you to save a lot of your system resources because OneDrive keeps backing up your system while you're playing your games. And the last thing that you need to do over here is set visual effects for performance you're gonna have to turn this thing on. It will help you to disable unwanted animations on your PC and keep the only ones on which are needed for performance. Also if you guys want to de-bloat your taskbar and start menu you can turn this option on. It will remove extra icons and clutters from taskbar and start menu and make it completely clean. Now talking about the general optimizations over here, you have optimized IO operations to optimize the performance of your keyboard and mouse. Then you have Hone gaming mode, you wanna have to turn this thing on over here as well. Then enable optimized drives, optimize Windows Explorer, disable Xbox, all three of these settings should be turned on. So let me just turn them on quickly. Then you need to optimize memory management, activate this one as well. Then disable telemetries of all of your browsers. So Firefox telemetry, Chrome telemetry. Then you wanna have to enable general Windows optimization, which is just a collection of general tweaks to make your windows run faster and smoother. You're gonna have to turn this thing on over here as well. Then disable windows power throttling, optimize MSI which is message signal interrupts. Then you have to enable optimize windows timer resolution to fix your mouse delays. Then you wanna have to disable windows game bar, simply click on continue. Then disable transparency, turn this one on over here as well. Then you have general privacy optimizations, turn this one on. Gaming optimization should be turned on. If you don't use fax and print services, just turn them on as well. Disable VS Studio telemetries. Disable Microsoft Edge telemetries. Optimize device affinities over here. Turn this thing on as well as it will help you to optimize your CPU. Optimize Windows power plan. Enabling PC offloading can help you free up your CPU and network performance. Then you, the most important feature that you have to do over here is disable network saving features and optimize network adapter settings. It will automatically apply the best network adapter settings on your LAN or Wi-Fi to optimize its performance, reducing your ping packet loss instantly. Then you can optimize your mouse, optimize NetSH network settings, turn both of them on, disable Microsoft Office telemetries, disable Superfetch over here, turn this one on as well. You can also debloat network adapter and this will help you to flush your DNS cache and other useful settings to optimize your network performance. Simply turn this one on as well. And you can enable flip integrity fix, which helps you to prevent visual glitches or freezing when switching between full screen games and other settings and other applications. So let's just say that you're playing your game on full screen and you just press alt and tab and your game freezes out. You can fix that with this setting over here. Once all of that is done, head over to the advanced tab, click on I understand and click on I understand over here. Now all of these settings are actually feature breaking over here and I would not recommend you guys to tamper with any of these except disable Windows Defender. This one helps you to completely remove your antivirus from your PC but I would highly recommend you guys not to do that since it protects your PC from unwanted malwares but Disabling that will help you to gain extra performance in the games by reducing the number of processes running in the background for safety purposes. Not just that, but Hone also offers you a boost up panel where you have the junk cleaner, simply click on that and then select boost performance. 
it will run a advanced cleaner which will take up to 30 minutes when it starts cleaning up i'll simply press n over here but for you guys you have to press y and then you have to run it if you press n it will just clean your junk files and it will exit it has a ton of useful tools like scan and fix drive errors scan and fix system errors steam cleaner and discord cleaners over here along with cleaning your thumbnail cache recent documents and optimize your disks you can run every single one of them to optimize the performance of your pc with just a few clicks for example you can clean your discord cache by simply clicking on that and click on boost performance select boost performance over here and it will automatically clean all of the cache files from discord then there is system errors it runs in SFC and DISM tools to check if your system has any errors or corrupted partitions. It will automatically fix that. Simply click on boost performance and select this option. It will run all of these commands and it will take a long while. So all you have to do is simply keep it running in the background. Apart from that, Hone also offers you game section where it auto detects all of the game installed on your PC and to boost them, all you have to do is select that game, for example, Battlefield 6 and then click on best performance. Select activate preset and this will apply all of the best presets for your game and it will help you to optimize the performance of your PC while you're playing those games to gain extra FPS, fix lags, stutter and crashing issues. All it takes is just one click to apply all of these best settings on your PC. It is that simple. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then you can drop into your game. Here's the performance for Battlefield 6 before I used Hone and here's the performance of Battlefield 6 after I used Hone. And as you guys can see that there is a significant boost of performance. I would suggest you guys to go and check it out for all of your games in your library, apply the best performance presets for your games and try running them and see if you get extra FPS. Hone also has the Hone AI over here in which you guys can ask any issues that you are facing with your PC and it will give you a solution for that. But please note that Hone AI may produce inaccurate information because it's currently in the testing phase. Lastly, head over to settings and over here you have options to launch Hone on startup which I recommend you guys not to do it. Then you have admin privilege status. Simply make sure that it is granted and once all of that is done, you guys will be able to see all of the applied settings and changes on the home page. To disable any of these, simply uncheck these options over here and it will help you turn off all of these optimizations with just one click just as you turn them on. So if your PC is facing any issues, all you have to do is simply uncheck these optimizations and it will reset them back to default. It is really that simple. Once again, I have left a free download link to hone.gg right in the description below for you guys to go and check it out. Also, let me know how hone works for you guys. If it does well, make sure to do comment it below. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.